Being a royal blood comes with its fair share of perks and shortcomings, but luxury is not something that these royals compromise on, and we shall be taking a look at Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nayan, the crown prince of Abu Dhabi, and the way he spends his day. Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we shall be taking a look at a day in the life of the crown prince of Abu Dhabi, how he splurges his big bucks and how it feels like living such a lifestyle. Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed bin Sultan Al Nayan, the president and crown prince of Abu Dhabi, hails from the Nayan dynasty. Just like most royals, he had quite a lavish lifestyle right from the time he was born. While he was growing up, his father wanted his son to be highly educated and provided him with the best education. He was sent abroad to Morocco to study and even when he went there, he was sent with a fake passport having a different name so that no one would recognize him there. The Sheikh spent quite some time in Morocco and even worked at a restaurant for many months as a waiter. While he had his job, he also did his own chores such as his laundry and cooking for himself. He kept studying till the age of 18. Imagine a crown prince doing all these things that we middle-class civilians do. Just like most royals, he too was sent to the Royal Military Academy Sandhurst in the United Kingdom after his schooling, and here he was trained on how to lead a country and how to defend himself as well as his country. While he was here, he completed quite a few courses including an armor course, a flying program, a parachutist program, and tactical aircraft and helicopter training. Once he completed these courses and his training, he joined the Amiri Guard. Following this, he joined the UAE Air Force as a pilot. Here, he was also the UAE Air Force and Air Defense Commander. During his various missions, he happened to befriend a lot of people and bodies including the US military. They have had a good connection with them ever since. This connection that he had with the US military helped him and his country during the time of the Persian War as he sought help from the US for security coordination issues. Next, he became the Lieutenant General and the Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and was officially given the status of Crown Prince in 2004. He also took the place of the Chairman of the Abu Dhabi Executive Council after his father passed away. This post enabled him to look over quite a few activities, including what happens in this region on a daily basis. His education and experience in a lot of fields made everyone like him and they also happened to find him to be the perfect individual who had the potential of ruling a country. He helped boost the economy of the region and also provided his people with jobs and better education. He's also quite active and present when regional affairs are the task at hand and does it quite smoothly yet diplomatically without hurting the sentiments of anyone. He and the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince were once acquainted a few years back when the Sheikh tutored Mohammed bin Salman. So basically, the Sheikh has a lot of dealings to handle on a day-to-day -day basis. But once he's free from all of that, he chooses to spend his millions just to de-stress from the stress that his status and job come with. The man has quite a net worth of $30 billion and one can surely do a lot with that kind of money. Palaces are one thing that the royals love to reside in even though they come at quite a cost. The Sheikh resides at the Qasr al Watan Palace Complex which is next to another palace called the al Batin Palace. This palace is quite vast and covers an area of 150 hectares. In this area, you will find not only the palace but a garden that accompanies it. The palace is located on the Ras al Akdar Peninsula and thus has access to the best beaches out here. Both the interiors and the exteriors of the palace are quite unique and magnificent. The structure comprises granite and limestone, giving the structure an elite look. The interiors are decorated with the best furniture and the walls are garnished with some of the finest pieces of art out there. The palace also comes with a presidential banquet that is quite grand. This banquet comes with 149,000 unique pieces of silver crystal and gold decorations radiating elite vibes. The building structure comes with a dome that is 37 meters in diameter, showcasing how huge it is. Within the dome, one can find a chandelier that's built up of 350,000 crystal pieces. The chandelier is huge and is quite heavy too. Now the palace surely looks like it's worth millions, and the interiors and the exteriors too definitely cost millions as well. But the palace has been stated to have cost a value of somewhere between $430 and $500 million just to build it. It took the builders a good seven years to complete the construction of this palace, and many officials stay at this venue including the president, vice president, and of course the crown prince. So basically, the crown prince truly wakes up in style and goes back to sleep in style. Weddings are quite extravagant amongst the royals, except for a few who prefer to keep their wedding small and private and only invite their near and dear ones. But when the crown prince got married, there was nothing simple about the wedding. The sheikh got married to Princess Salama in 1981 
and their wedding made it to the Guinness Book of World Records for hosting one of the most extravagant weddings to ever have taken place. If you're wondering what made this wedding ceremony so extravagant, well, the wedding ceremony included a stadium that came with 20,000 seats. This alone cost them $100 million. Furthermore, the celebrations did not last a day or two, but went on for an entire week. Apart from all of this, the princess was gifted gifts by 20 camels decked with jewels. Luxurious cars are worth thousands and millions of dollars, and royal families definitely own a few. The Sheik too has quite a wicked car collection that includes rare vehicles as well as high-end vehicles. Some of the luxurious vehicles that he owns include a Ferrari 599XX and three Bugatti Veyrons. That's not all. He also owns a Lamborghini Reventona, Ferrari F40, and a Mercedes CLK GTR, to name another few pieces from his exotic car collection. All of these cars are worth millions, and one would have to think a thousand times before taking these bad boys on the road. Apart from traveling on roads in style, he loves to fly in style too. In order to do so, he doesn't catch a local flight from the regular airport and travel in business class, but he travels by private airline carriers that he has access to at any time and to any destination. The Abu Dhabi Amiri flight tends to all the traveling needs of the prince. Apart from this, he also has access to another fleet of flights including the A6 UAE, which is a Boeing 747, A6 AUH, which is a Boeing 737, and an A6 YAS, which is a Boeing 737. The interiors of the private jet of the Crown Prince are quite extravagant and come with all of the amenities that he needs. The interiors have been built to accommodate business meetings as well as some spaces have been created in such a way that if he's traveling long distances, may it be for leisure or work purposes, he can travel without tiring out his body. The airplane also comes with its own lounge and can be used to host informal meetings mid-air. The airplane also comes with a bedroom in which you can find the basic bedroom furniture in it including an LED mounted on the wall of the aircraft. Now let's take a step back from this airplane collection and take a look at his yacht collection. The Sheik owns the Rabdan, a yacht that was built in Australia in 2007 and was constructed by Silver Yachts. Epson Oino International also put in efforts to build this yacht. There are eight suites aboard this vessel and they can easily accommodate around 18 people. Apart from this, 16 crew members can also be accommodated on board. The yacht also comes with quite a few other amenities, including a sauna, a swimming pool, a beach club, and even a gym. The Sheik has to spend a whopping $5 million just as operating costs towards the Rabdan. The Sheik, as well as his family, love to invest in real estate, and they share a large number of properties that are primarily located in the country as well as in the UK. According to Land Registry Records, the royal family owns more than 170 commercial and private properties in London. They also own Ascot Place, which is located in Windsor Great Park. If we are to add all the rentals that they receive, it would come up to a sum of around 160 million pounds. The Crown Prince truly knows how to balance out his riches and spend lavishly while investing his wealth smartly. 